hey there hey there it's me vichesh muthmani um so this is a very happy video for me because uh, it's been a very long time and i'm finally going to replace my phone okay so this video is about my experience upgrading from my old phone to my new phone okay yeah i kind of record all sorts of crazy stuff on my youtube channel so here goes okay so this was the phone that i had i believe this was my first apple phone and this is a iphone x okay uh, so i got this phone around 2018 so now it's 2024 right so it's been almost 8 years since i had this phone and oh man this is a one tough cookie okay and it's in a very horrible condition now so if you see here right so i got this green line on my phone at the side okay so the screen is damaged and uh at the back is completely ruined as you can see it's cracked and i dropped it on the floor and got cracked okay uh, but i would say this is a super uh, tough phone because uh, uh you know uh, in the year mm, 2019 when i was working out in the gym i dropped a 150 pound barbell right when i was doing barbell squats it fell bang on this phone you know right here of course i had a screen protector but uh, and only the screen protector got cracked okay but that's a massive weight which is falling on the phone right so it actually bent if you look at the phone it's actually bent it's not straight okay and even the screen came out and this was in 2019 but the phone still worked from 2019 to 2024 and only like uh, in 2023 i started seeing like these green lines and uh, the phone started to crack okay uh, and also the touch started failing so i felt it would be a very good time to get a new phone and so i went and i got myself an iphone uh, 16 uh, like pro max okay so i'll bring the phone next and uh, we'll see how it is okay i have not even opened the phone so i was thinking of doing that uh, phone unboxing right here right now okay i'll bring the phone and i'll be back <laughs> see you soon so here is the moment we've all been waiting for i got myself my new iphone 16 pro max okay i'm not opened it yet and speaking of iphones right uh, i'll start opening it now one thing is uh, like before i got these iphones i was a huge uh, uh, like user of android phone so samsung galaxy s2 was the last android phone i ever owned uh and the thing is you know back in the day i used to think hey uh, you know people buy apple phones because they are uh, very like what to say they just want to spend a lot of money just to look good uh, when they are around people from other parts of society right it's just like just a boost of ego but uh, i was completely wrong Uh, my experience with my with you know my previous iPhone uh, proved to me that the design philosophy the like the user experience the seamless transition of the screens and also the fact that 4 uh, years ago i worked as a mobile app developer and i had to make cross platform apps that worked on both the iPhone and on android so the way they had like designed the software development kits for apple phones was far more superior to you know what they had in android so the development experience was very superior even from a technical standpoint uh, with a- apple software development kits and also after i started using my phone uh, say my apple phone i just couldn't go back and i've become a fanboy of apple okay i went from android and now i'm a fanboy of apple and i'm also a technical guy so i know what i'm talking about here they're really good All right, so here's the phone. Let's start opening it, okay? Uh, let's see, let's see. <laughs> I kind of keep these uh, these unboxings too serious. Okay, I'm going to pull the tab. Uh, you know, the thing about Apple products is their. Uh, I hope this is what you do. Is, is this what you do? Let's see. Do I pull this off? Man, I don't like to even pull it because the packaging is so beautiful, man. So I just don't even feel like you know pulling these things and just like ruining it because I like the packaging of these Apple products. Okay. I think that's it. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> First impressions, okay. I got the new color. Uh I think it is called the De- desert uh, t- titanium, right? That's what it's called. Okay, cool, man. Here's the phone. Oh, freaking Okay, you know what? I really like the form factor. Uh oh, it's so smooth, man. Do you know this? Oh, man, it's so polished at the back. 
it's so refined man it's it's got this goldish tint but it's like the titanium variant okay so i love this color man i actually live in the desert in phoenix arizona so i can understand this theme you know from where they got inspiration because our rocky mountain canyons are of a similar shade okay it kind of plays into the theme very well oh man i love so freaking okay the camera looks good i've not opened the phone yet but let's see okay now i have to like remove this this time i'm going to be very careful oh fuck sorry <laughs> i removed it. oh look at this look at this this is perfect man i'm not turned it on but the presentation is beautiful okay so what do we have here i have my phone good and i have this what is this thing oh yeah it's the new charger i guess cool they gave me the charger have they given me anything else except this let's have a look uh they have something okay uh i guess this is just that blah 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 so yeah that i guess you know that's all that came in the box uh yeah it's good 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 uh the, i don't know what this is iphone okay let me open this what is this what is this okay i guess it's just the warranty or oh yeah they just gave instructions how to set things up okay so i'm really happy now um so you know i'll transfer the information from this phone to this phone and let's see how it goes but this time i'm not going to make the mistake okay i got a full body armor for the phone so like even if i drop a like a 150 pound dumbbell on this phone again this won't break or bend all right thank you very much huh? i'll be back uh, with my first impressions after i put more uh, more uh, you know transfer the data to my phone all right see ya bye hey there everybody so i'm finally back uh, so it took a while for the phone to update and transfer all the information from this phone to this phone. So it took around 6 hours, okay, but it's finally done and that's good. Okay, so I did have uh, like a few minutes to try out the phone. And the one good thing is the user experience is kind of similar to, uh, to, to what I had in the iPhone X. So familiarity is a good thing. As far as new features go, uh, I was interested in seeing what Siri is capable of. Since now Apple has a uh, new, you know, memorandum of understanding with OpenAI. But uh, like Siri's performance is still the same. I was thinking that Siri might be smart enough to, to remember the conversation it had with me like, you know, 10 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago, so that uh, uh, we can continue the conversation in a human way. But uh, that is not the case. Uh, it's still not got the context in it. Okay, I will give you a demo. Uh, and also it's not replying back to me in voice for some strange reason I don't know why all right so let's try this out hey Siri huh? so tell me the name of a good car that is popular in the year 2024 it is giving me the response in text instead of through human uh, voice which I find really weird okay uh, so tell me why this car is good It doesn't reply back okay so the contextual information right is something which is very important because in chat gpt and all uh, if you ask about a car it gives a reply and then you ask a follow-up question with words like this or that it needs to interpret it right i don't see any of those special things happening here i don't know why <laughs> so yeah other than that uh, what, so what else is there um it has a lot of other cool stuff which i have to explore but this was the first thing i wanted to check what is apple intelligence capable of and uh, it has not passed my first test okay uh, so i work in an area of artificial intelligence and we do deal with these things a lot uh, to make user experiences better but i'm really disappointed that apple has not <laughs> done this yet i don't know why so yeah that is that uh, so other than that the phone is good uh, it's very responsive it's got all the good stuff of course the camera is good and all the other you know fancy stuff is there right then uh, i believe like notes are supposed to be more like superior these days so i don't know why uh, you, it says you can do like math and notes and you know that's a really cool thing okay so to be able to do math in uh, this you know so that's really nice so you can type an expression into your note to have it solve it automatically that's really cool right so you know like let's try that i really want to see what is the usp of this okay so if i type x plus 5 uh, okay I'll, I'll put x plus 5 5 equals what okay uh, uh, I don't know how this is going to work. You put equals. 
equals what when x is equal to 5 when x is equal to 5 done so can it solve this equation for me i said x plus 5 is equal to what when x is equal to 5 so i was assuming that artificial intelligence would be able to substitute the value of 5 into the x and get me in the answer of 10 but it doesn't seem to work so i don't know if i'm not if I'm, I'm not using this the way it's supposed to be used okay so these are some weird things anyway but you know by and large for a guy whose phone was almost breaking down it's a good upgrade so i'm pretty happy with this and i'll have to learn how this works you know one more cool thing would have been if uh, if this apple intelligence is really smart it should teach me right it should teach me how to uh, you know make use of the notes and all let me click this button nothing so i click the button uh, to be able to call apple intelligence i believe it's this button or that button but uh, it's not done anything man it's not done anything so i, I really don't know uh, how to use this phone okay uh, so let me ask you this question hey siri okay let me ask it again let's try this so, so can you tell me how to use equations and notes enter for okay it has given me something i think it's gone to the support size this looks like a typical rag pipeline i was expecting something more cooler from apple like it would uh, show me a screenshot it would like generate the demos and show it to me you know like directly but uh, it's just doing like a generic rag pipeline it's going fetching the information and just bringing it back i'm not very impressed with this for now i was expecting a lot more so really uh, we need to take this to the next level man because i'm not very happy with this so so yeah so anyways uh, but the phone is good i'm very happy with the phone as such but apple intelligence i am not seeing the usb anywhere so far and uh, we'll have to see okay uh, so i hope apple comes up with more updates and makes that feature much better so what's going to happen so what's going to happen next what is going to happen to this phone my favorite phone my favorite apple phone is going back into its box <laughs> alright I'm going to store it in its box and keep it because uh, I can actually use it for my development needs since I work in artificial intelligence uh, I plan to you know work on projects where I am trying to deploy uh, you know models onto smaller form factors and seeing where they will go so that's part of what I'm working towards so I can use this for that anyway this guy has been really good to me this uh, phone so let me store the iphone x back into its casket it's going back into its casket till it will be called up one day <laughs> to serve me <laughs> so yeah i really love this phone man weight fell on it, 150 pounds fell on it and it survived so and it's my first apple phone so i have an emotional attachment to my iphone x so yeah it's gone into this box and uh this guy uh I think I'm going to enjoy this and I put it in a full body armor so it will not uh, break the next time I use it. Anyway, thank you for sticking around. Uh, mm, yeah, it's a good phone and if you are making an upgrade after a very long time, uh, you would enjoy this. And as far as Apple intelligence is concerned, I guess I don't know how to use it yet. But I was expecting something more advanced. I don't see it yet in this. Thank you very much. Huh? So have a good day. Bye-bye.